Are you aware that every October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month? We're young and we, it may seem like a distant issue that shouldn't concern us. But we're all impacted as a community and we should all be more than aware. Two years ago, the four of us first encountered the opportunity to work with More Than Aware, an officially recognized non-governmental organization created by a YCS mother over a decade ago that empowers women to be proactive in the prevention of breast cancer. We continue to be more involved and gain experience and knowledge from the passionate organizers and breast cancer thrivers on what it really means to be aware. We learned some things that we want to share with you today. Number one, we are all impacted. One of the first things we learned from More Than Aware was to be more aware of ourselves. We learned about breast cancer and prevention from the sessions of checkups that taught us about the indications of breast cancer and that even wearing the correct bras can help prevent it, teaching us to be proactive in the prevention of cancer. A son of a former breast cancer patient I interviewed talked about the importance of prevention and checkups. It was only after a government-led health checkup session that his mother had found out about the cancer. During the recovery, he did extensive research on the subject to help his mother. Although, when he told me that his mother had been diagnosed with breast cancer twice, I was surprised. I never thought that breast cancer could be diagnosed more than once, showing me that breast cancer is an elongatory variable and that could happen to anyone in any time. Number two, prevention matters. Research, learning, and raising awareness are just one small stage of service learning cycle. It is about taking action and being an advocate. In our recent school-wide community day focused on wellness, we have hosted an activity on being more than aware, along with the Mobros of Movember fame, who are raising awareness on men's health and mental health. During the activities, the te students and teachers were encouraged to set their greens or wellness goals and join the walkathon around our campus. The aim of these events were to inform and advocate for women's and men's health in our school community and to share our takeaways to spread the idea of being proactive cancer prevention. We also had an activity on SISTA session led by one of our YCIS parents and MTA thrivers who were sharing their ideas on being proactive cancer prevention. Number three, community matters, connect with thrivers. Another part of our service learning project was interviewing thrivers. The word thriver refers to people who not only survive from breast cancer, but thrive. As they share their personal experiences and in -depth insights, we gain more inspiration from their strength and perseverance. One of the thrivers I interviewed is a loving mother, grandmother, who was also an unhappy wife. She mentioned the significance of emotions and mindset. She took cancer as a chance to reflect on her lifestyle, attitude, and more. After she had made a full recovery, she decided to divorce her husband and lean it into living her life to the fullest. Her advice was to never wait and forbear anything. Time is too little and too precious to waste. We discovered their commitment on helping other cancer patients after recovery. For instance, one thriver I interviewed decided to go back to school and earn the national qualification of psychological counseling. She now works at the Shanghai Cancer Recovery Club to counsel cancer patients who need support. She was shocked when she knew she got cancer. Fear and emotional pressure overwhelmed her. She herself was facing emotional pain. Yet, her cancer club community supported her and she got more positive towards the issue. In her words, the community and connections were both major factors in health, so now she is committed to supporting both. Our YCS artist in residence and one of our favorite humans, Ms. Haruka, is a quintessential thriver. She has shared her artwork chronicling her breast cancer journey with vulnerability, inspiring many in our community. One of the themes she has explored in her artwork is how the symbol of koi and the Japanese kintsugi craftsmanship has shared, helped, her, helped her change her views on her life as she battled through cancer. The, in a world where we are trying, always trying to be perfect and better, it is hard to feel imperfect. But the Japanese kintsugi craftsmanship fuses pieces of broken pottery using th beautiful threads of gold. Ms. Haruka says, The more imperfections this piece has, it creates more value as it adds more uniqueness and becomes true one of a kind. 
Ms. Haruka teaches us that there's a real beauty and real strength in embracing your imperfections, like the kintsuki, and their vulnerability has the power to unite others and taps into communal strength. 2.3 million women were diagnosed with breast cancer last year. Every 26 seconds, a woman is diagnosed. This means that since the minute we began our speech, 17 women have been diagnosed. And 70 to 80 percent of women have breast maladies, such as lumps, cysts, and nodules. Just in this room, many of us have these to a different extent. These numbers are surprising for me, and might also be astonishing for many of you. Breast cancer prevention should be informed and emphasized to every single one of us, as it could be your daughter, your mother, your sister, your wife, or even yourself. This is one of the reasons why we're standing here today. Now that you're aware, more than aware, could we please ask you to take action and become advocates with us? You can commit to your own wellness goals and make sure you and your loved ones get regular health checkups and cancer screenings. You can also donate to the Thrivers through the More Than Aware platform. Help us surpass our 50,000 RMB target goal. Also, be there for your community. Help them find their beauties and their imperfections. Together, let's be a strong group of core. Let's be the gold. Let's build a beautiful Kintsugi together. Breast cancer isn't far from all of us, and it isn't just a women's issue. We need everyone in the fight. Each of us must do our part and be more than aware. Thank you.